What, what is this? What happened? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm uh -huh. just wondering. What yeah. is this? Yeah, what is this? Nothing, nothing. I just Get it out of your chest, man. Yeah. No. You're listening to Small Talk Kagoshima, the best English podcast discussing everything you love about Japan. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to Small Talk Kagoshima. On this podcast, we talk about all things Japan and... We talk about all things Japan and Kagoshima in English. I'm Mitch, and th these are my co-hosts. Natsuki. And... Hello. <laughs> my co-hosts are kind of... Hey, I, have a, <clears throat> I have a question for you, too. Okay. Uh, so, this is kind of like... Uh, I want to know your opinion about something that... I don't want to say happened to me, but like... Let's say it happened to my friend. And I'm curious. Uh, is there like a... Okay, you're both married. Okay. Okay. Do you find that when you talk to, for example, Natsuki, when you talk to your husband, mm -hmm. do you filter the way that you talk to him or do you just say whatever you want to say? Me, whatever I want to say. I do say whatever I want to say. Uh, but sometimes in the situation, I filter. When What time do you filter? Like what's the... What's the reason? What's the timing of this? Like, I want to do something, but I think that he doesn't want me to do something. You know, do, I, do you understand what so I mean? So you choose your words carefully. Yeah, I choose my words carefully because I want to make it through what I want to do. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. mm. Is that like, can you want to do something? Let's say like, oh, can I go out today kind of thing? Yeah, like something like that. What if okay. uh, your husband's doing something that you want him to change? In that time, do you also choose your words carefully or you just go and then just say whatever you want to say? I choose my words carefully. So at what time do you speak completely freely? Like most of the time I speak completely freely. And, and then, you know, some. Like negotiation, negotiation time. Mm -hmm. I k I uh, I pick my words carefully. Okay, Hayato, what about you? You've been married for how many years now? Five. Yes, <laughs> five years. So Natsuki, you're like ten, right? Mm -hmm. Ten and five years. Okay, so five years married, Hayato. Uh, do, how do you communicate? Do you are you just raw and unfiltered, or do you sometimes think about what you say and then choose your words carefully? No, I don't really think about things i say even if i'm like oh can i go out i just say well can i go out and then wait you ask your wife for permission of course what if i, I don't come home she's gonna be like where are you of no, course but, I'm but informing her. her like hey babe i got a thing I, i'm gonna go to i'll be home later yeah or do you say yeah yeah hey like, babe can i please go to this party oh uh, no, no i'll no. be home later like i'm gonna go so See ya. <laughs> Not see ya, but yeah. So in what situation do you choose your words carefully? Is there a situation like that? Mm. Like if you want to buy something, but it's going to be very expensive. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe the, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I guess the reason why I'm asking this is because I feel like I've seen this a couple times too. Like I feel like my personal culture, and maybe this is not all Americans, this is maybe just me, but I feel like a couple should always respect each other mm -hmm. and should never speak disrespectfully to each other. Yeah. Even if you're just being raw and unfiltered, you should always have respect. But like I was in Hawaii once and I saw a newly married couple, Japanese couple and they were like on a bus with me mm -hmm. and the Japanese girl was just going like so rude saying like the most horrible things to her husband. So I told the Japanese girl, I was like, hey, hey, we understand what you're saying. And then the Japanese guy was like, dude, shut up. She finally said to the girl, mm -hmm. like, be quiet. And I was just like, I just seen this a lot. Like, I, just, I, I don't know if it's like a female male thing or something, but I feel like, like last week, uh, Natsuki, you were talking about how you, when you and your dad were fighting, he mm -hmm. told you, what did you say? Like, I'm going to, I'm going to, you're going to quit your company. Mm -hmm. And he said, like, die. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Which is like, 
she screw you, like mm. you suck die or something like that mm. right it's like it's like i feel like i feel like like even like i don't know maybe it's just my personal difference but i feel like you don't say things like that to people that you care about like but in japanese i feel like it's it's more common mm. I, I mean like okay this is not a man like husband and wife situation but like let's say in america if you have friends yeah you can how you talk to your friends it's like you you're, i know you're joking but you say th things that are mean mean but you do it in like a funny way right but, but yeah but that's the thing in 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 america i felt like that was a friendship where you kind of have to like not challenge your friends but like you have to kind of do that sort of thing but in japan you know friends just polite to each other and i that's the thing i noticed like oh that's with between friends the di the difference uh of like i don't know what the relationship the difference is but like the way we treat friends i mean we're not treating i'm not treating friends badly mm -hmm. but it just i just felt like oh that's like a difference hey what is the most bad japanese that you ever used to your wife uh, the, the worst word what but j the Japanese have a lot of bad words. Yeah, I'm asking Hayato. I mean, <laughs> with <laughs> with his wife, like you, like or what your wife said to you, like very bad word when you guys were having fight. Uh we don't really fight. Not even once. Like a couple times, but we don't argue. So you do use the. What, Wait. What so word? when you guys fight, is it like a like a cold war? Like you just yeah, it's just like just a cold silence, to each other? and then next day we're fine. Kind so of. That's thing. fantastic. This is for you, Hayato. Let's say that your wife puts on something, and it's like uh, she doesn't. It doesn't. It's like a like a dress or something, and it doesn't look good on her. And she asks you, "Do I look good in this?" Do you say, "No, that looks terrible on you," or do you say? Mm, it's not the best look. Maybe you should wear something else. I mean, like, how do you choose to talk to her? If I were to correct, not correct, but if I were to, yeah, I would say, mm, maybe you should choose different color. Yeah, maybe. I'd is that because you're lying to her or is that just because you're thinking about her feelings? It's more of, okay, to be honest, I have no sense in fashion, so <laughs> I have no rights to correct her. <laughs> but if I were to say, hey, I think it would be better if you use wear this i would say i would choose I, 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 who who's would you say that wait like, so natsuki if you put on if uh, your husband puts on a suit or some 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 sort of fashion and then he says hey hey what do you think would you say you look stupid or would you say mm, i don't think that look matches you or something i don't pick the word stupid but i would say like san you look old things like that i would say that but you would do it and then laugh right like right, right. like ah ha ha so yeah yeah soft, yeah right? yeah of course of course mm -hmm. not like like meanly hmm. why what's the purpose of you no i'm just wondering i just think that i just think that in relationships i always think that and i was just wondering if this is a uh japanese versus like a like a foreign thing but like i feel like you never it's like this is kind of gross but like you know how some couples will like the guy will fart in front of the the wife uh -huh. i feel you should never do that my husband does and i do too i, <laughs> I do it all yeah. the time do you i i just feel like there's certain walls that you should keep why because she should like Maybe it's naive of me because I'm not married yet. But I always feel like sh you should always respect her as like a princess. And like she should always respect you. Like there's certain things that you shouldn't do. Yeah. She saw you naked, right? But just seeing me naked. Did, and this is also an all ages show, Hayato. But uh, yeah, but even if she's seen you naked, that doesn't mean like, you know. But my, my parents was like that. My parents, like when my mom burped, burped. Burped. My sounds okay. Yeah. Burped. My dad was very angry. So I wouldn't get angry, but I would just expect like, don't you know about it? Just makes the other person look like not cultured. You know, it's like, oh, but sometimes it's like an accident. No, accidents are cool. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about like if I wouldn't I would be really embarrassed if like like she doesn't do this. But if my fiance was just like burping in public, I'd be like, ooh, what are you doing? 
Yeah, that's happening. Yeah, I don't verb in public. I don't fart in public. But, but inside the family, we're family. We sometimes do. What, do you, what is this? What happened? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm uh -huh. just wondering. What yeah. is this? Yeah, what is this? Nothing, nothing. I just Get it out of your chest, man. Yeah. No, I just, there's a there's a, a certain number of people that I've met in, in Japan, and I feel like there's like no filter. And I'm just like, there's always time for filter hey, by the way i like the uh explanation that you said get to it out from your chest get it off your chest get it out of your chest get, get it, it off get it chest. off your chest oh that's i like it okay. it means to just say it yeah get it off your chest what do, what do you mean you said japanese people with no filter so the couple but, but, like but, the, the one you explained like on the bus the couples were just saying like whatever most they japanese people are super polite right yeah but like when they get, get like really close to each other then the filters come off and i feel like it's too much like in america like the filters come off but you're still friendly with each other but i feel like it's just like no you know what it depends on the couple has has your husband ever said something to you that you went oh <gasps> He is nice. He is soft. He doesn't really say strong things, but I do. <laughs> but when you say, I, I've, you've never said something strong to me before, but when you say a so, strong thing, do you like laugh afterwards or do you say, and then just walk away? Ah, uh, laugh, laugh, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can't see you being scary. Mm. Hayato, what is your wife? Is she scary? Yeah, so it. Why so, are you looking at the the camera? So, so like, the the couple that you saw in Hawaii, yeah. maybe you know, right after they finished their travel, I mean, vacation, they break up or broke up. Yeah, it's just it was weird. I was just like, wow, that's a lot of things to yeah, say. Yeah, that's not nice. No. Yeah, it depends on the relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, another thing that like you know happens is like fighting in cars, like mm -hmm. when you're driving mm -hmm. and you're like stuck with each other. Have you and your husband or you and your wife ever gotten into a fight in a car? When you get into a fight in a car, what do you do, Hayato? Silence. You just ignore her. I don't ignore her. Doesn't say nothing. It's just, a, just the silence. silence. Wait, wait. So she's talking to you and she's like, nah, no, nah. no, 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 no. Oh, when we're fighting, right? Yeah. yeah. If I say something, she just got. She, this is one time I remember I said something. And then she just went silent. Ah, uh, she went silent. Yeah. Oh, that's actually smart. Did you know that? Because you know, if you open your mouth, you are gonna say something that you actually don't want to say. So silent is a better way to do that. And the, unless I mean, until your feeling is calmed down. I can't imagine you being silent, Natsuki. I actually do. When I get really mad, if I open my mouth. You know, the dirtiest word probably come out from my chest. So I, I kind of want to make you really angry now. Like, yeah, I want to see this. No, 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 no. Because I don't want to do that. And then I, f f I kind of feel you know regret about it after I said such a bad word, uh, bad things. So I want to control my feeling. And then you know, and then that's silent is the best way to do it. Better mm. say nothing when you but get it, angry. But it's it's true though. Mm -hmm. Mm. And so, how long was this car ride with you and the wife where you were being silent? Um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't long. It was like ten, fifteen minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> like I, I went to, <clears throat> when I was uh, in university. I went to uh, from Las Vegas to Disneyland with a girl. It's and like then, a five hour driving. It's like four hours. Okay. And then like we got in kind of a fight, mm -hmm. and so we had to sit in the car for four hours after that. But you know, having a boyfriend like you is make your girlfriend shut up maybe don't you think oh you mean like if we get into a fight like they stop talking yeah oh no i've never met one of those before they all i've never maybe it's because i choose girls that don't shut up but okay. like it's never quiet it's always like explosive okay especially when you're in a car because it's like very close together oh uh, yeah okay and ah. Uh, did you know that, did you see the news? I mean, on the news, in the local news, that there's a new car, you know, harassment? A uh, new way of harassing? New way of harassing is happening here. Like before in Japan, you know, how do you say aori unten? It's like, you know, ha pushing? Uh, what was that? 
term? Tailgating? Tailgate, yeah. Tailgating. Ta- tailgating. Ta- tailgating. That's when like you're a normal speed car and mm. your fast car comes up and gets really close to you. It's uh-huh. called tailgating. Okay, tailgating. And then now opposite things happen. You know, wait. What do you mean? Car don't go first. I mean, you know, the the in front of the car that you're driving. I mean, they just slowly, slowly, slowly driving. What? And then you know, of course, you get ir- ir- uh, irritated, irritated, right? And then other car trying to pass through the car, like get it around the car, around the car, mm-hmm. and then suddenly he chased. The car that the, the car you oikosta. Uh, so wait, so you're saying there's the car in front of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're the car in uh, the car in front of you goes really slowly. Mm-hmm. Like how slow are we talking? Like, like thirty kilometers or something. So they go really slow, mm-hmm. and then if you try to pass them, then they will stop you from passing, or they will get in front of you again. Right. And go slow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's crazy, right? That's a new way of, you know, people do harassment. So I've been reading lately that like that. And it happened in Kagoshima, actually. It did happen. In yeah, it, it it did happen in Kagoshima, and it was on the you know news in the national. Yeah. So okay, I've been hearing recently that like uh, we say road rage is like a like a becoming more of a problem in Japan. Mm-hmm. How do you say road rage? So like this, I mean, we've had uh, road rage mm. as a problem in America for like, you know, the last 10 years or so, I, I think. Mm. But like you're saying, but I've been hearing that in Japan is becoming more and more like common. Yeah. It's, uh, it, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. Go ahead. It's, it's. It's really this is the, this is what happens in Japan. This one thing happen, it, that thing becomes popular. Ah, uh, people copy. People mm. copy or like now one thing happens. Oh, this tailgating issue was big in somewhere in Tokyo. Now every everywhere in Japan they start talking about. Oh, this guy it, it was on the news. So it's just like it's. It's been around. Mm, it's People been do around. that all oh, the time. Yeah. But now, since it went like national. Uh, you mean it happened and just people weren't talking about it. Yeah, mm. it, it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. But now, since this one huge story in- incident happened, now everyone's just talking about it. So it's it's like it happens all the time. Like, I but, mean, if you if you yeah. drive, mm-hmm. if you drive, mm-hmm. it happens. But the, the news that I was talking about is kind of new, don't you think? You know, that, you know, people, what was the word? Tailgating. Tailgating happened a lot, but now this is a, like, you know. Reverse. Reverse. Uh. And then, you know, Kagoshima countryside freeway is only one way. Uh, so if we, they cannot pass. They cannot pass. And then, you know, like I said, you know, the other car trying to go around, there are only some parts that they, you can go like pass that's actually really dangerous because let's say there's a car from behind mm-hmm. going the normal speed mm. and they come around a corner and then you're going really slowly mm-hmm. they might hit you right right and it actually happens on road that you're using minami kyushu though oh yeah mm-hmm. that's right because it's one way mm-hmm. oh, it's only one lane one lane you know, I find like, okay, so in general, uh, drivers in Japan are very polite and uh, the roads here are really safe. Uh, but I feel like, you know, you always have bad people, like wherever you are. Like the people who drive crazy in America, I think are really crazy. Mm-hmm. But like the ones in Japan are kind of, they're not so crazy, but they're kind of unique. For example, Bozozoku mm-hmm. are like the biker guys who, how would you explain them? They're like, they have very loud bikes. And then they just ride around making a lot of noise with their bike. Mm. I don't know what's fun about that, but they do. It's like a bike, bike, biker gang. Not yeah. a gang, but like... Like a group. Group of and they young have like kids. Flashy scooters and bikes and they, they drive around going... Bah, 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 bah. So, yeah, they are challenging to police, actually, I think. Don't you think? I don't know. Cause I don't know any both <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, it's on the news and then they want to be seen by others. They want attention. They want attention and they want a challenge to police. 
Hmm. Like catch me if you can. What、uh, happens if they get caught? It's like big trouble, right? Right. I mean, not I mean, that big trouble. Kids, yeah,、so. yeah, that kid. Oh, they're kids. Yeah, they're kids. So, I, no, I don't think anybody over twenty years old would do that. It's like under twenty. Yeah, eighteen、oh. or something. Yeah, sixteen. But like, so there's that, right?、And、then, I mean, this is not bad, but there's other unique things. For example, the truck drivers who get the crazy customized trucks.、Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Is there a word for that? Decoration truck or something? Decotora. Yeah, but there's there's so crazy amounts of like decoration on their trucks. They take such pride in decorating their trucks, and sometimes you see them trucks at night, and they have like all the lights on them,、yeah. so they light up. It's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I actually like that. Yeah, they want attention. So there's that. Is that happen in America too? There are many truck drivers in their you know country. I don't know about people decorating their trucks. Like during the Christmas season, they decorate with Christmas lights or something like that. Maybe. Have you ever seen? No, maybe it happens, but、uh, more so than that, I hear that people like paint、mm -hmm. the the not the cargo part of the truck, but like the front part,、mm. the cabin part. They paint that. I've I've heard that before, but I don't know about lights. Not like not like Japanese style. That's a lot. How do American people do when they want to get people's attention? Okay, well, what you do is you get a convertible、mm -hmm. and you play your really loud music. Ah,、oh, I see. Or you like you know I don't know I've never done this but some people I see on music videos they get like the cars that jump ah、oh. the low riders the low riders is that from America because some bosos or some you know how do you say bosos in Japan I think there's I mean, no word、uh, okay some gangsters no well、uh, in Japan、uh, people who rides the 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 low riders they're not. Really, a gang member. They're just like it's like they, they really like the cars,、oh, okay. <laughs> so they're not not、uh, they're not、and、bad. There's、people. there are those people in America too who aren't gangsters. They just like the cars and car culture. Then there's also the gangsters. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have seen how do you say that? Low riders. Yeah, low riders. I have seen low riders here in Temunkan too. Yeah,、mm -hmm. there's like they they always come in a row,、mm -hmm. like one, two, three, four.、Mm -hmm. I've seen some really nice classic American cars here in Kagoshima.、Mm -hmm. Like they're they're really well taken care of.、Mm -hmm. So I don't know where they got them from, but they're like from the 1960s and 1970s. Classic car. Yeah,、mm -hmm. it, it was kind of cool watching、mm -hmm. those. That 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 I'm cool with. The Bosuzoku, the the noisy biker gang guys. I'm not, I would prefer them to be.、Yeah. But you know, like. As a driver myself, I do get kind of irritated sometimes. So what you know, do you do? How do you how do you release that irritation? I mean, I think I drive slow. I'm I'm not a careful driver. I just drive slow because that's. But you know one thing, Hayato. I drew. I've driven your car before. It's really easy to drive because it's very visible. You can、yeah. see everywhere around it.、Mm -hmm. So it's. I think it's a good car to drive. One thing that. Uh, irritates me is the high beam.、Oh. oh! Did you know that you know high beam is the correct way to we write? Did you know? I, I went to change my license last year. Yeah. And then you know law has been changed, and then when you drive in the night time, right highlights are the, like basic. Oh really? Yeah. You're supposed to put your high beams on always. So 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 so. But so. that's. Oh. It's really dangerous. And but, then, but you know, maybe in the mountain or something like that. But anyway, you know, highlights are the the things that we always the default. Default.、Yeah. I guess if you're by yourself, if if there's a car in front of you, do you still use? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But and then people do that, and that really irritates me.、Mm. Because then, it's mabushi. It's yeah, bright. Yeah, and then I I stop the car.、Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I mean, I don't know. When I drive in Japan, I just try to drive as safely as possible because it's not it's not like America where the roads are really wide and straight.、Mm -hmm. They're very. It's kind of like Mario Kart. Like、mm -hmm. it's really complicated to drive in Japan. Like、mm -hmm. everything moves and changes, and it's very. It takes a lot of concentration.、Mm -hmm. When did you start driving in Japan? At、uh, I, mean, I mean, like recently, rec recently. I again. I don't know. Like、uh, I don't remember. So when I saw him driving,、mm -hmm. he he's he got a very 
perfect <laughs> posture. <laughs> no, just because I, I'm being serious. I'm being safe. I know, I I'm like, a wow. safe driver. <laughs> and then I saw him driving, and he was in the small car. So it was a small so room. Like a, like a clown car. Yeah. <laughs> mirror check. <laughs> Back mirror check. <laughs> it's important Captain, to check your mirrors, people. Captain Mitch. <laughs> Do not drive without checking your mirrors. Oh, this is the weirdest thing when you when you want to drive here in Japan on the driving test. You know when you have a, a train track, right? Mm-hmm. You yeah. have to stop. You have to open your window and you have to listen for the trains, <laughs> whether they're coming or not. That's that was the thing. I I didn't get that on my. Oh really? Test. Yeah. I, was, I was like, wow, that's that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's raining? Do you still have to open your window? You probably do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I find that driving in Japan is like uh, can be really fun, but mm-hmm. it can also be like be very difficult at times. Especially mm-hmm. like, you know how when you go to like the countryside and they have those tiny little roads that go between rice paddy fields? Those are so scary because you can fall off them. Right. It's right. like it's like a two meter drop on each side. Mm-hmm. And then also you guys have those weird Japanese uh, drains, the storm drains on the side of the road. What mm-hmm. do you call those? Mizo. Mizo. Mm. They, sometimes they have covers and sometimes they don't have covers. Mm-mm-mm. Have you ever like hide the hide Have you ever like accidentally got into yeah. one? Yeah. No, 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 no. But if I imagine that, uh, it would be so scary. But OK, if OK, if that happened, just call Jaff Japanese. What is Jaff? Japanese Automobile oh. Federation. That's it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, I have a question for you. Do you guys wear your seatbelt in the back seat of your car? We're supposed to, ne? Uh, I mean, we're, we okay, must. Okay, let's not talk about you two. Let's talk about the people you know in Kagoshima. Do everyone you know wear their seatbelt in the back seat of their car? I'm afraid not. Nope. Why is that? Yeah, because. I don't know. We feel safe. We- no, no, no. Everybody at home, please wear your seatbelt in the front seat and the back seat. It's just so weird to me that, you know, Japanese people who always think about their health and want to live a long life in the south of Japan, especially, don't wear their seatbelt in the back of their car. Even though it's the law. Even don't. though it's the law. So sometimes I'll get into a car and I'll put my seatbelt in the back seat and they're like, oh, you don't need to do that. It's the back seat. I'm like, yes, I do. I'm yeah, in the same car does. as you. He <laughs> does. In the evening taxi, he does always wear seatbelt in the back seat. It's, I mean, we're supposed to do that, but people never do that here in, you know, South Area of Kyushu. And then maybe if we go to Tokyo, people do that. Maybe. It's just, I don't know. it's just kind of unique and strange. It's changing. Speaking of unique and strange, mm-hmm. I'm going to change the subject here a little bit. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever... We talk about tapioca a lot on the show, I feel mm-hmm. like, recently. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen this? Can you can you read this? What's this? Can you read this? Tapioca milk tea nabe. Nabe this. Tapioca. Tapioca milk tea. Hot pot. Hot pot. Now, I think milk... Oh, I'm sorry. It's not common. Let me see again. <laughs> Is that sweet things or... Milk. I've seen like milk. <gasps> it's in pots. cabbage and radish and pork. Hey. Oh man, dedication right there. Okay, have you got first of all, let's just ask this question. Have you guys ever have you guys ever tried tapioca? I have. It's sweet, right? Mm-hmm. It's you know texture is like a mochi, isn't it? Tapioca itself is yeah, not tapioca sweet. Tapioca itself is not sweet, but it's often paired with sweet. Yeah, like sweet drinks and like syrup and stuff. The actual tapioca balls are not sweet at all. They barely have any. It's taste. just it's just chewy and yeah, chewy. Yeah. So the milk tea is the sweet one. Mm-hmm. Like I'm looking at this picture of this nabe pot on Cookpad, by the way. But I can't it imagine what it looks like. What, yeah, I mean, tastes like you know, you know because you know we like sweet stuff here in Kagoshima too. The reason why I'm bringing this up okay. is because I want to talk about nabe culture a little bit. Okay. You, First of all, because it's, it's winter right now, okay? So, like, nabe means hot pot, by the way. It's a Japanese, nabe is Japanese hot pot. It's like a pot filled with meat and vegetables and sauce, and you eat it together as a family or as a group. What do you guys do for nabe? Do you eat nabe? I do. Yes. What kind of nabe do you eat? Anything, like kimchi, miso, 
水炊き、もつ鍋。Curry, curry, whoa, tomato, curry. Italian, tomato, yeah, yeah. Italian. Wait, 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 wait. What is curry nabe? Explain that one. Oh, it's just a, just a curry soup, but you have different like、uh, potatoes, carrots, just pork, pork, and wait, just wait, wait. regular. Is it, is it like okay? So I'm thinking like curry as being like very curry texture, you know, kind of like thick.、Mm-hmm. Is、yeah. the is the the curry nabe also thick? No, it's not that thick. It's like soupy.、Mm-hmm. Does it taste good? It tastes、It's、good. good.、Uh, you eat soup curry, right? Ah,、uh, uh, the Goya. Yeah. The, the shop's name yeah, is Goya. Yeah, something like that. But it's big. It's big. Oh, is it spicy? You, you if、can. you want it spicy, you can. Oh, that might be See, cool. See, this is、uh, nowadays, right? They come in a pack,、mm. the nabe pack, the hot pot pack. Yeah, it's like a like, pack of soup. Pack、mm. of soup. You can just like put it in a hot, and then just put ingredients in there and stuff like that. So they have a whole lot of different. Ingre- uh, different type soup. of soup, yeah.、Mm-hmm. A curry, uh, Italian. So、yeah. it's really easy. It's、mm-hmm. it super easy. So actually, I had a nabe cookoff with me, and、uh, I'm not going to name who he is. And so we had like a, a challenge, like who was better at cooking nabe.、Mm-hmm. And he made the nabe from scratch, everything. Like he made it with dashi and everything. And I used the pack,、mm-hmm. and I won. <laughs> This cheating.、Mm-hmm. He didn't. We didn't say that we couldn't use the pack, but I won. You cheating. It was kimchi nabe. Kimchi、Ooh. nabe. It was really good. I like yeah, kimchi. Yeah, I like kimchi too. So okay, when you guys eat nabe at home, how do you eat it? Because there's like okay, I was told. So I used to have like the clay nabe pot, pot、mm-hmm. and with the like the what is it called the、Gasen. portable、mm-hmm. gas burner kasete、mm-hmm. kondo,、mm-hmm. and like I'd put it on the table. We'd eat as a family. But then when me and my little brother moved out.、Mm-hmm. And he started moving by himself. He lived by himself. He asked for that,、mm-hmm. so I gave it to him. So now I use like a stainless steel pot with the IH、mm-hmm. burner.、Mm-hmm. I, what is it called in English? Like induction heating thing. And I was told like this is not real nabe. You cannot make nabe like this. But I use that too. Do you use like the clay what, what pot? Do you, what do you definition nabe then? Like no, no. I use like old. I mean. Denki, denki. How do you Electric. say? Electric. Electronic nabe pot. Oh, it's but is it clay? No, it's not clay. It's made of steel. Steel.、Hmm. That's just an image, right? Because、oh. the clay pot is. So you're saying, you know, unless we are using clay nabe pot, it's, it's not, not nabe. Yeah, like it's like it's just it's just wrong, you know, kind of thing.、And、I was like, it's okay, it's fine. What is、yeah. stainless steel?、Mm-hmm. Hayato, no, clay. Clay, good. I have both, but、like. the clay pot is annoying to clean, right? Yeah, and it's also heavy and just you know portable heating. What, what did you say? Por- portable Kaseto, burner. Portable burner. Yeah, it's annoying because I have to put the new gas tank. Gas tank every time I finish it. But if I use the old, I the mean electric. Electric. I just need to. So that's why I like、in. using my system because it's electric.、Mm-hmm. I feel it's also like more like better for the environment.、Mm-hmm. I feel. I don't know if it is, but it what、like、it uh, vegetables do you put in there? So give me a list. Okay, so for like kim kim kimchi nabe. Cabbage. Cabbage. I put in edingi mushroom. Cabbage. Cabbage. And then I put in. I don't remember the name of those mushrooms. The Enuki dake. Enuki.、Mm-hmm. Maybe not. Maybe it's haksa. Yeah. What is that in English? No, I do. I do Chinese cabbage. Chinese cabbage. I do just normal、oh. cabbage too. I sometimes do normal cabbage, but it's too much for me. So I the, the Chinese cabbage is like in a quarter, so it's、uh-huh. easy.、Mm-hmm. If then, we put dumplings. I I don't recommend you guys to put dumplings because you know it, if it's smell it tastes like all dumplings. <laughs>、uh, I also put the big <laughs> green onion. What's that called? Negi. Fukanegi. Leek. Leek. leek? Yeah, L E E K. I know it's also called leek, but do we actually call it that? I think it's called a giant green onion. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the difference between that and a green onion? It's the same thing. It's just bigger. Anyway, that. And then I, I put what? Winner. Oh, me too. Sausages.、Mm-hmm. Sausages. And then I put the little、uh, chicken meatball things that I buy in a pack. Oh yeah, the minced. Hey, is winner not English? Winner is okay, but it's like sausage winner. Sausage winner.、Mm-hmm. 
And then what else I put in there? Fish. Uh, no fish. Oh, I don't shrimp. use pork. I don't. I'm shrimp is like for rich people, man. Really? It's not that I'm expensive. Kidding. I'm kidding. I I find shrimp to, if it's frozen shrimp, it's okay. Okay. It's but from the, a local river. It's okay. <laughs> shrimp don't now, come from a river. Okay. Now the main event. Okay. The main okay. event <laughs> of Nabe is the last. Okay. Oh, how she would may, you, yes. how you close how it? How would you close down the Cl- event? <laughs> it, you, it depends on soup. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, how do we say shime in English? Like it's like the Josh, you went to culinary school. <laughs> yeah, in Japan. It's uh, <laughs> basically it's like how to close down the the dish, the last way, the last thing of eating doing with the dish. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to say it. It's just a Closing ceremony. Closing <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> what would you put? Uh, uh, it's either noodles or rice. Rice or rice with cheese. Okay, or I'm just there was, there noodles was some, or rice. Yeah, ramen or <laughs> if it's kimchi, I think I think the ramen noodles is probably better. Champon is better. Champon is also good. <laughs> And the difference what between champon? champon, yeah, the noodle is much thicker. thicker. It's uh-huh. Soba, right? Yeah. Or is it no. soba? It's not soba. Udon? No, champon is like ramen, Chinese noodle, ramen, but thicker but Chinese noodle. It's not ramen. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like ramen. We're so yeah. bad at this. This is what your dad's gonna say. You guys don't know. Also, shabu shabu is one of my favorite things. Shabu shabu is like thinly cut pieces of. I grew up on beef but in Kagoshima. You guys eat pork, and then you shabu shabu in the water. The it's good. So the New Year's, I had a <sighs> booty. Oh, buri shabu. Buri shabu. Oh, uh, yeah. I suppose Amber no buri. Jack. Amberjack. Yeah. yeah. It's Amberjack. Nabe. I don't know if that's right. Uh, because your dad went to fishing to catch it. Yeah. No. Japanese Amberjack. Japanese Amberjack. Yeah, I had it maybe two times. I'm <laughs> hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry now. I'm so, sorry. Her stomach yeah. is growling. <laughs> yeah. So this shabu shabu is this. Uh, it's like a uh, hot water, mm-hmm. and then you just just kind of. Just But there's, quickly, just it's not just water. It's water with dashi. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It Maybe has Japanese seaweed dashi and stuff like that. But yeah. anyway, you know, you don't boil it. You just like quickly just dip it in. And it why just, why know. isn't uh, beef shabu shabu that uh, popular in Kagoshima? Because when I was in Las pork Vegas, shabu shabu, right? Yeah, it's all pork. And when I was in Las Vegas, the Japanese community mostly ate beef shabu shabu. Mm-hmm. But when I came to Kagoshima, they're like, let's eat shabu shabu, and I was like, yay! And then it was all pork. Because you know we product a, a lot of pork, but we here. also make a lot of beef, which is really good beef too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, I hear that, that we used to eat butter shabu pork shabu shabu in it was a whole meal. Yeah, because when I I always ate shabu shabu at home in And America. Then, yeah, beef shabu shabu is things that we eat. In the restaurant, ah, oh, mm-hmm. it's more like higher class. Mm, higher class. I know there's restaurants here you can get beef shabu shabu, but yeah, it's not as oh, m- common. I want to eat beef shabu shabu. Um, speaking of differences at home, uh, I want to go to today's viewer submitted question. Yeah, okay. let's move on. I went to New Zealand. People there wash bus towel, bus towels once a week, but in Japan we wash the every day. Why don't you wash the towel every day? I don't wash my towels every day. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys wash? Right, let's do the poll, okay? okay. Uh, Hayato, I mean, do you wash your bath towels? <laughs> Why you laugh so? Who hard? washes your bath towels? <laughs> oh my god. Your wife. Okay, so let's. Okay, when Why I. Why do you feel like you're just gonna make a weird? No, answer no, no. Out? When I used to live by myself. This okay. Before marriage. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't wash every day. About like what was the what was the rate of washing the bath towel? Uh, three times, three days. One time, once every like twice a week. Yeah, or sometimes longer. <laughs> yeah, when it becomes stinks, I wash. How long does that take? Maybe two days. Oh, are you really? Two days. Three uh, days. Like, like you wipe your body with the big towel. I mean, bath towel, and then you hang it there until until it dries. It gets dry, right? Right. And then maybe you do it again with the second time, and then if 
you know, like when you come out of the shower, you're clean, right? Mm-hmm. So you're just wiping clean water off of your body, right? Right. So the 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 towel shouldn't get dirty if unless you're dirty when you come out of the shower. Now, if you're speaking from the biological okay uh, way, um, there's a bacteria. <laughs> there's bacteria everywhere. It grows. I think that it's a difference in climate. Um, I don't know about New Zealand, but where I'm from in Las Vegas, it's very dry. And if you hang up a bath towel, it dries in about one hour. So it never starts to smell bad because it just dries and it's clean. You're clean and you wipe off your clean water and you hang it up and it's dry. So you can use a bath towel for like one week and it's totally clean. So how often do you wash once in a week? Here in Japan, I wash my bath. I do once like every two or three days because, <clears throat> well, it's a unique situation for me. If... um. My laundry room, mm-hmm. I have a dehumidifier. Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. that's the same place that I hang my bath towel. Mm-hmm. So my bath towel dries in about one hour every time, even here in Japan. Mm-hmm. But before I lived in this apartment, I would use like one bath towel every two days because it takes so long to dry in Japan because it's so humid here. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what it is. Because it is kind of a waste of water to, you know, wash something that's clean. And if you're coming from like Australia or where I am in Las Vegas, where I was from in Las Vegas, where there's not a lot of water, you don't want to waste water. I hear from, you know, students in, who travel to New Zealand. Because you interview them. Yeah, I interviewed with them. And then New Zealand has no rain. I mean, it's just small rain. So it's like a drought. Yeah, dr- drought. Drought means drought. little rain. Yeah, so, so they think water is very important. Mm-hmm. That's why probably they don't wash every day. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, students told me that, you know, shower time is also limited. Yeah. And then, you know, they don't wash dishes with water. They actually you know, put some soap and, you know, and then wipe it with paper towels. What? Yeah, that's what they say. And they make sandwiches. We, you know, wash the, you know, vegetable with water, right? And yeah. then they don't actually wash vegetable. That's what I don't know is if it's that family. I might or be, I might, yeah, I might be wrong, but. Well, I, I don't know about that, but the shower thing, mm-hmm. uh, I know that when exchange students go from Japan to Australia or to like New, Zealand. New Zealand or to, like, if they come to Las Vegas, they're, mm-hmm. they're taught to take a very quick shower Mm -hmm. because in japan people take really long showers you go into the bathtub for a long time but we have a lot of water in japan Mm -hmm. in other places in the world there's not so much water so you have to be more careful about it yeah i like japanese shower when we travel outside i mean other countries shower pleasure is not that high it depends on where you are yeah exactly it depends on where i'm at like, I mean, I used to have an apartment here in Kagoshima and the shower pressure was really, really bad. Oh, really? That's why I moved. Okay. Yeah. Like, it was like, churl, 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 churl. It was like really bad. Hey. I, went, I, was, I took shower there. Yeah. It's, it was not good. And then you you guys changed your shower head and it's still bad. Uh, it's not about the shower head. Shower. The, the, the place before. Now, my new shower, uh, Hayata really likes my new shower. <laughs> It's I, great. Yeah, yeah. I let it run for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought the same thing, but I thought I shouldn't say that in here. Uh, anyway, anyway, so uh, getting back to the question, I think it's just coming down to weather and climate. Like yeah. it's, it's it's just drier there with less water. And then if you wash your towels too much, you lose the softness, I feel like. How do you say junanda in English? Softener. Softener. Fabric softener. Fabric softener. Uses I don't use fabric softener. It's Why bad not? for your skin. It's bad ah, for your skin. Really? It's bad for your skin. Uh, it, it smells good and softer. I hate the way it smells and it's bad for your skin. Uh. I have very sensitive skin and so my fiance loves to, w- to use softener and I keep trying to get her to stop but she won't stop. Uh. I hate it. Don't get divorced. slowly? We're not married yet. Okay, don't get break up before you get married. Hayato, do you guys use softener? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then we wash bath towels every day. Every oh, day. really? Because yeah. your wife likes... Oh, yeah. She she loves washing. Oh. I, I have another question. So one of my friends, I'm not going to name his name, he only uses... A, actually, so does somebody else I know. They only use like a hand towel mm-hmm. when they get out of the shower. Hand towel means like this yeah, size. Like, like this size. They use just the hand towel and then into the washing machine. My husband does that too. 
but your husband doesn't have any sorry hair. <laughs> he doesn't have any hair, so it's a lot easier for him to dry himself. I feel. But my dad has hair, but he does the same. Is that like a? I've never seen this. Like I like having my big towel. Me it's too. Like, me too. Great. Mm-hmm. My wife does that. The small, little small towels. I'm like, how do you wipe yourself? With yeah, <laughs> because it's hard to hang in a big towel. So I mean, bath towels. But but I like using bath towels too. Uh, do you, okay. Hi. Do you guys ever like get out of the shower and then you wrap the bath towel around yourself and you just like walk around the house with your towel on, no, no clothes, just a towel? I have. That's like one of my favorite things to do. So if you have like the little towel, you can't do that. Right. I don't even use towels, man. What? How do you get dry then? I just walk out like. Even in the Natural. winter? No, I wipe in it. I just walk <laughs> Why did you said, okay. <laughs> okay. You yeah. just said I wrapped accused. around my, I wrapped around, I wrapped my towel around. Why did you wrap from your chest? That's weird, man. It's like a women. No, because yeah. I was talking to Natsuki about it. That's why I was uh, doing okay. the gesture. I I'm not going to wrap from did. here. <laughs> uh, don't you get cold? No, because I have a heater. Uh, so you heat it on and then they go take a shower and then you get out and the room is warm, so fine. Yeah. Okay. It's called being a human and living in a house. <laughs> yeah. I mean, th- but then, Hayata, you live in a huge house that's very drafty and I feel like your shower is far away from everything else in your house. Actually, everything's far in your house. It's big. Like, isn't it cold when you get out of the shower? And the, your house is kind of, you know... It, old style i mean old your house sucks Hayato. <laughs> no, 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 no my no. house is old no your house is old and then it's cold right yeah there's a lot of, a lot of how hmm. do you say skimakaze in english there's lots of drafts that come in yeah d-r-a-f-t the, draft draft i feel like the outside is warmer than inside sometimes oh yeah it happens yeah i understand that so i'm like surviving man you know do you wear a down jacket inside your house Sometimes I, sh- sometimes I do. Yep, 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 yep. And then my hands get cold, my feet. Yep, yep, yep. He lives. How do we get talking about? Oh, bath towels. Anyway, that, I don't care how long you wash your bath towels, guys. Just try to Depends not on the family. Depends on the family. Yeah. I don't wash my bath towels every day. She doesn't smell bad. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right. All right, guys, that's been our show. If you enjoyed today's show, hit that like button, share us with your friends, or subscribe to never miss an episode. Also, give us a comment in the comment section below. You can tell us if you wash your bath towel every day, every other day, never. If you use a bath towel, if you just run around naked in your freezing cold house hoping to dry like Hayato, let us know in Mm -hmm. the comment section below. Thanks so much. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Small Talk Kagoshima. Small Talk Kagoshima is recorded in Kagoshima at Story Studios. This week's episode stars Michi, Natsuki, and Hayato. The audio mixing is done by Hayato and is produced by me, Josh, and is executive produced by Michi. This program is brought to you in part by Quantize, Mu FM, Sengayen, and Harada Gakuen. Special thank you to everyone who submitted questions, videos, and pictures. You can submit to our Twitter, at Kagotalk, or our Facebook page, Small Talk Kagoshima. Or you can add us online by searching Kago Talk. If you enjoyed listening to the show, you can subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Please leave us a review and let us know what you think. Thank you and see you next week. <laughs>